Right, this is how you get the proportions on the on the photo. Let's say we need this picture and we need to put a line down and in the middle. Instead of using a pen, this is what I do. I'll get a rubber band and I'll put it this way first. Then I'll get another rubber band. Well, before I do that, I'll put the picture in like that. Then I get the other rubber band and put it thus. So we've got that plus sign. We can see the proportions now. And we can juggle that around like this and put it where we want to. Well, where I want to and just keep it there I think. And I can just put a piece of sticky tape there, so it doesn't move. I always just put a little mark like this with a pencil, just in case it does move. And that's it. Then I get the board, and I can do the same thing. I could do it either with paint or just put a rubber band in the middle like this. And another one across, another one across. So this area here would be this area here. So this line here would be there. This line here would be there. The eye would be around here. This eye would be around here. The mouth is right there so that would be about right there and the chin down here so that would be down there right I then paint the board with acrylic two parts yellow ochre, two parts white, and just a drop of ashy blue. I don't want to do that at the moment, so I'm going to mix the paints now. Now we need the main load, the main load, then light, mid-tone, dark, darker and grey. So first of all, we'll get white. We'll put it down there, that's white. Next, yellow ochre. Put a dash of yellow ochre, that's white, yellow ochre. Next, burnt umber, a bit lower, that's burnt umber.
The darkest will be Payne's Grey, which is black with some blue in it. And here we'll squeeze in some red. That's all we basically need at the moment. Except one more which will be raw umber. That's raw umber. And I'll put raw umber aside here because we'll only use that for grey. I just put it down there. And that's basically the palette. Now I need a main load here because that's going to be the main load that goes around the face. We're going to dip every colour into this main load. So the main load will be, first of all, white. Always start with the lightest colour, white. A touch of yellow ochre. Bit more yellow ochre. And we need a lot of this. So more white. If you drag it out. Oops, the green came out from before. Just wipe that off. We don't need that green. Things like that happen. Things like that happen when you paint, so it doesn't. Don't worry about it. Oh, the green came from there, from the top. Okay, and yellow ochre. Okay. There's a touch of green there. Yes, it's tight. Who cares? Don't, don't worry about it. That's the main load. Right, do we need all this white? No, we don't. Even when it's undertoned with that two parts of yellow ochre acrylic, two parts of white and a touch of Ashley blue, we don't need all that. So, get a big brush, dip it in terps, dip it in terps. and we'll go over it with burnt umber for example just lots of terps here boards are very dry. So burnt umber all over. We've got rid of all that white we don't need. In painting there's not a lot of white in most paintings. There you go, that's all. Now let's block in some features. Let's say that eye would be around here. That eye would be around here. That part there need a smaller brush. And I'm doing this with burnt umber. Get a smaller brush. And with burnt umber need that part there which will be about here and about here. Is it too much there? Never mind. There. And that part goes sort of in around. 